Well, let's see. It is the 27th day of December. And the uh, year's almost over. No more Christmas cards need to be made. Next month is the, uh, the youth, um, the winter youth Olympic Games in Korea. And so I thought I would do some pictures. I don't know if this young lady I'm going to show you is in those games, but this is the picture I want to show you how I did. And I did it on my iPad using the Procreate app. And the young lady is uh, Camilla Vil Vilieva. She's a, a Russian skater. Let me zoom in the focus there. Anyway, so I, I did that as a poster. I, I didn't do any um, lettering on it, but but I'll show you how I did that right now. Okay, well, it is now the 27th day of December and Christmas is behind us. And next month, in January 19th, begins the uh, Winter Youth Olympics in, uh, is it Gangnam, South Korea or Republic of Korea? And so I wanted to do some um, paintings, digital paintings of winter sports. I just felt like I wanted to stay with the winter theme, but I kind of want to take a break from landscape. So I thought winter sports. So I found this video of a young lady named Camilla, Camilla Valieva. She's a Russian free skater. So would you call him free skate? And um, so I, t I watched the video and I did some screenshots. So I'm going to use Procreate. There's the Procreate screen on my iPad. And I'm going to show you how I would do this. So here's my gallery. I already got one page set up. So this is um, what I'm going to do. I'm going to take. Um, I might. I might. I might change the, the way this is set here. Hold on. Let me see if I like it this way. Um, but I want it to be long. I want it to be like a poster, um, in, in dimensions. So there's the, the screenshot. I, I, put, I put her name on here so that I would remember for the sake of this video, because I'm, I'm bad with remembering names. So let me move them closer to myself. Whoops. And um, I'll just show you how I would do this. So f the first thing I want to do is I want to sample the color of, mm, Let's see the color of her skin or something. I'm not sure what I want to base this on. Now let's look at that color. It's actually in the red family. So let's make it more like red. Now let's take it over to the, um, the disc version of it. And the exact opposite of that color is this color here. So that's a blue, like a, like a turquoise blue. So that's what I want. I want that as a backdrop. Um, before we do that, let me, let me just uh, scribble some of that on here. I'm going to use a, the, um, sorry, the dry brush, and I'm going to just scribble it on there. Oh, come on! I don't want. I want the the layer that I can paint on. Here we go. Okay, that's there's the color. I I don't want that color, but I might. I never, never say never. So let me take this color here from the ice. And it's really a very light version of this red. So I'm going to make it more red and go the opposite of it. And now I have that green. So look at that. Now, isn't that interesting how the two opposites are not too far from one another? So that's what I'm going to use as a background, a background or an underpainting. Um, so I'm going to go to the background color and I'm going to try to replicate that okay as the background color and it's just a little bit less saturated so you can see you can almost match it up there and so there we go there's the background color I, I feel like it's a little too saturated so let me um, make it less saturated yeah 
Yeah, that's better. That's a lot less saturated. Now let's go back to that layer that I that I painted, and let's just clear the layer. It's not quite an underpainting, but it's it's good enough. All right, we don't really need her name on here. Um, I have it on the computer screen over there, which you can't see, but I, I only used it to to get the uh, video so I could get the um, the screenshot of Vileva. She was 15 years old when that video was made, and that was in 2021. So she's now 17. Wow, that's pretty amazing. All right, so let's um, let me get rid of her name. We don't need that on there anymore. I'll just get rid of that whole layer. All right, now what I want to do now here's kind of a, a, a technique I use. I purposefully made the uh, let me move it up a little bit. I purposefully made the uh, the um, the canvas here, the, the the art area, about the same size as the reference photo to the left. I'm not completely sure what the um, composition is going to be, but it's probably going to be similar to what it is in that photograph. So what I want to do, I just want to get a dark color to represent everything on here. And again, I'm going to use the, the dry brush. There's the dry brush. You can use whatever brush you want. And I'm going to make the brush about that size. So let's just go ahead and, and put something that's about the size of her head, about the size of her shoulders and the angle of her shoulders. And she's got an elbow out there. And this arm goes out this way. And then it goes up here. And her hand goes there. So she's got a large area here, right? Does that look about right? We could always change it. And then here's her body. Okay, and this hand is, is coming around here. Like she's putting her hand on her heart. And we have her hips. And then take it around here to her leg. Okay, and her other leg here, and that skate is there, and the skate is here, and we will be tweaking it as we go along to make it perfect. Okay, make it a little bit, a little bit more. So let's use the eraser. I think I have the eraser set on the airbrush eraser. I'm going to make it smaller. Let's try to match up the size here. And let's get some of these. And the idea is to just get a really, really super rough um, sketch of, of what we want here. And then we'll take it from there. And then we'll build on that. You can see that you can see it right there already. See, it almost looks like a football player at this point, but it's not. Obviously, we want that to be a skater. This beautiful young lady skating, and what we want is uh, we want it to have motion. We want it to be animated in in a figurative sense. So there we go. Now she's a uh, she's an individual person. I'm not trying to do this generic. So I do want to make it look like her. Not a portrait, but just kind of a likeness. But before we do anything, let's experiment with the composition. Do I want it more to the side? Do I want it more in the middle? Do 
Do I want it bigger? Do I want it angled more? I think in her case, in order for it to look balanced, it's going to have to look about like she looks. But I think I like the idea of her being slightly to the left, giving a lot, a lot of negative space on this side. So that's kind of my idea there. Okay, let's get rid of that, those guidelines. Now let's take, let's start with the face because that's her. So we're going to make it really big and we're going to take her face in really big. So then I can see it really well and we'll place it in there. All right, now let's, let's use a second layer. And on the second layer, we're going to paint over it with these colors. Now, I would say that's got a pink, pink tone to it for sure. Um, maybe it's along that line right there. I'm just going to paint it in there. And you kind of have to eyeball the colors to make it work. And even though it's a dry brush, I'm going to kind of scrub it. And, and notice that you can do two things. You can do brush strokes or you can do scrubbing. And I'm going to use the, um, let me get rid of those. That was just to show you. But if you use the scrubbing technique, um, you can smooth out a lot of the things that you don't want. However, the reason I use this brush in the first place is so that I, I do have the, um, the, the the painterly look. That's one of the main reasons I use this the um, the dry brush in Procreate. Okay, so there's her neck. There's her neckline, and I'm scrubbing it in. Her ear will be there. There we go. Now it's still very rough. Let's get some dark area and make this her hair. Her hair is really pulled back tight, so you don't really see much of her hair. We'll go ahead and kind of darken the area that would be her, her clothing right there. And we'll worry about that later. So there's a little bit of a bun looks like. Okay, and the hair comes out a little bit here. I don't know what it's like to be a person living in another country, but I often wonder, and she's a Russian girl, I often wonder, do we, do we play it as if other people are really all that different than us when the truth is they're all the same, we're all the same. And so what I did right there is I made it a little bit darker so I could create a, the shadow under her neck. And um, let's create some shadows around her face. Okay. And again, I don't want it to be perfectly a likeness. I don't want this to be a portrait. But I, I do, I think I want it to be enough like Camilla to... Um, so that somebody might say that looks like Camilla, Camilla uh, Valdieva. Yeah, I had to look at her name. So there we have some dark, some lightness right there. Some lightness on her neck here, come around here. Her chin's got some, there, let's give some, a little bit of lightness right there. Let's get more darkness for her hair. And we'll take the, the color of the, the, the local color that we created for her skin tone. Get it some, a little bit darker for some of these shadows up here. And we want to get some really a lot darker to place her eyes. And here, so her, her cheek goes up here like this. Then her eye goes here. Her eye goes from there to there. About the eyebrow. There we 
go. A shadow under her nose, maybe a little bit higher than that, and then uh, let's get that same color and uh, go ahead and put her her mouth. in her teeth. Looks like it's a little bit darker. some of this color and brighten it up a little bit. Tweak this, let's get this smaller here. And again, I'm scrubbing, I'm not really drawing a whole lot, or not really painting with strokes. There's her teeth. There we go. like she's really like it's it's easy for her it, it's probably not easy but she makes it look easy what she does with the figure skating okay let's keep it on the light brown side there there we go keep that shadow let's make it a little bit lighter Right there. Make the brush a little bigger. So once we get her face looking the way we want it, then I can feel comfortable with the rest of her. Because again, I'm not trying to do a portrait of her, but a, but a, a general likeness. You know, so people can say that looks like like Camilla Vadieva. Some little bit lighter colors here for the, for the ear. Nope, I ran into her eye again. I bring that eye back out. Now let's look, let's bring it back down and um, work on this arm over here. And uh, she's got, it's kind of dark. Let's see. So we're going to go down. Looks like it comes this way and then over this way. And, uh, it looks like she's got some jewels or some sparkles on her uh, clothing. 
so I'll just go ahead and add a few of those. And this color here needs to be lighter because it looks sheer. Like you can see her elbow, her skin through it. It looks like her hand comes all the way over to that side of her. So let's go ahead and figure out how to do that. So it goes in here. It looks like she's wearing a red glove. It goes over there. And she's got a red glove, so let's give her that red glove. thumb there and there's the hand and she's got a dark red underneath her on the clothing and she's got some red over here and we'll go ahead and fill in that too while we're looking at it. There we go. Make it darker there. And get some of that light colored, that sparkly going on. Looks like she might have a, a vest on, I'm not really sure. We'll go ahead and get that red, that very dark red, that maroon. Bring it around here. Looks like it comes up. Looks like her, her gray top reaches down beneath her. about right now let's find it figure out how to make this arm look right I'll take that arm and try to follow the contours and there we go we get that red for her hand Probably not that big. I probably have to adjust the size. We're going to get that gray so we can see the skin tone coming through there. And we get some really dark to give the feeling of. There we go. All right, now let's go to her hips. Looks like her hips have um, got a defined line here, a defined line here. This goes up here. That looks like her skirt crosses over right about there. And then her hip goes out like that. Yeah, we can go ahead and fill that in. We'll come back to it. All right, let's go ahead and uh, put a little bit of lightness on there. Maybe it's too light. And she got some bright spots. Not sure if that's jewelry or or buckles. But this is, oh, by the way, this is an impressionistic painting, so I, I don't want to make it exactly like the subject. I want it to be the impression of the subject. I want it to be animated. And uh, so now let's take her leg, the upper part of her leg. And we got coming out this way, and our knee comes this way. Okay, I'm going to try and grab some of this 
lighter color here because we can see her skin through it. Yeah. back the other leg and get it around here and this one comes down and, and around to make it to that that skate and the skate is white we want to make sure we got the white skate right there. And I don't like the leg yet, but what I think I need to do is get rid of some of this original sketch from underneath it. In fact, I think it'd be okay if we combine the two layers. So we got two layers, that one and the new one. So let's put the two together. And then let's double that up just to enrich it a little bit. Let's put them together. All right, now let's um, use the eraser to kind of sculpt it out a little bit. it's okay to have some of those fly off lines they just uh, they kind of help with the animation look all right let's go ahead and paint some of those colors back in And then she's got the blades. I think it's important to get those blades. So let's just look at them a little closer. And see her blades. Let's look at the other one. The other one's kind of blurred out, but we can see it enough to know that it's there. We sort of know what it looks like anyway. things we don't need these lines okay well I think we have her I think I'm pretty happy with that all right now what I want to do is I want to show you something I'm gonna close the reference photo what I want to do is I want to take her and I want to duplicate her so I'm gonna duplicate her there's a reason for this now what I want to do is turn off one of these layers and I'm going to use the alpha lock on this layer. 
I'm going to sample the background color. And I'm going to take that dry brush and I'm going to paint over everything until you can't see her anymore. This is a little trick I do. And the reason I do this is so that when I do the background colors, they don't bleed through. You can't do this with traditional paint, but you can do it with digital. Okay, so now it's completely gone, right? But when you turn off the background color, that's what you have left. And it's pretty good. Now, sometimes you'll see a lot more black coming through. So turn off the alpha lock and then make the brush smaller. And then what you want to do is you want to find the areas that the black is creeping through and go ahead and fill it in. In this case, there's not a whole lot to work with. It's just that little bit. But nevertheless, that's what you do. And then you put the two together. You grab that, turn that one back on. Put this over it. And I have a little bit of a blue glow. You see that? We might not want that, but it depends on what we do. But we're going to connect the two together. And now we're going to turn on the background. And now we're going to do the ice. What the ice looks like. So let's turn back on the uh, reference photo. Okay. And there it is. So it's a, it's a, obviously a white ice. I probably will use more like a, mm -hmm, like a, maybe a blue or a light purple or something, but let's make a different layer. We'll put it behind her and let's, let's go for the let's go for the purple let's just do that like very off purple and just color it in just get some big big brush strokes let's color it in there just give that right there now let's make it a little bit lighter Right here, where oh, she's on the ice. Yes? I'm going to go get Owen a birthday card and, oh. and mail it. Oh, okay. 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 And then uh, this color and everything here. So this is a very kind of monotone, but not completely monotone. Uh, I'm trying to keep it in the purple family but not completely now you see how the ice in the actual picture is not uniform and I probably want to exaggerate that a lot because, because what I want is this motion and we're going to do something else to make the motion even more more emotionful. Now let's get some of that that whiter. Some of the part that's really white. Get it right there. So now you might be asking yourself, well why did you originally put the blue under there? Well let's ex let's examine that for a second here. Um, Let's take that and turn it off. You see if it's that that would look like black. Um, what if you made it completely white? Then it would look like that. See how it, it changes the uh, look. So we want it to go back to the blue, and it offsets things a lot. It offsets the the color of her, the tone of her skin, and the tone of the background ice. And you can experiment with it. You know you can do things like that. So. Um, and we can throw in some extra colors too. Looks like there's some red in there, so go ahead and add some red just just to make it a little interesting. It's more interesting anyway with the red. There's a couple of couple of areas that don't necessarily have any rhyme or reason. I'm sure in the in the ice skating arena, 
I'm sure the red was probably some kind of lettering or something on the on the ice under the ice okay now what I want to do is I want to um, give her a little bit of a shadow even though there's not much there to work with but let's gonna go ahead and take that and somewhat of a shadow okay um, now let's let's try something here I'm not sure if this is going to work I'm going to take her I'm going to duplicate her so now there's two of her one on top of the other I'm going to take the one underneath it and I'm going to take this smudging tool and I'm going to use the same brush, the dry brush. And I'm going to give her some things. Let me make it bigger because we don't need the reference photo anymore. This is where we use our artistic ideas here. So, um, you know what I want to do first? Turn that off. Let me um, get the eraser. Let's get rid of some of those, those background. colors that are creeping through. I kind of want to get rid of them now. So just erase them. Probably be a good idea to use the the uh, dry brush eraser. Whoops. Yeah. Make it smaller. Let's get rid of some of that. Some of the stuff we don't need. Yeah, so instead of it being a, a generic picture, it's a picture of an actual skater, an actual young lady. I'll keep some of that, some of that blue maybe I'll keep in there. I think I like it a little bit. I just didn't like it around her face so much. That looks a lot better. Okay, now let's take that one. And uh, let's get rid of the other one. Now let's double that one. Okay, now, now let's try that idea. We'll take this bottom one. I'm going to use that. And let's just see what we can do here. She's she's going this way. So let's let's grab some of the that underpainting and grab some of it and lighten the opacity. And make some of these 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 movements happen a little bit so she has a little bit of motion to her she's skating you see how that, those little pieces of almost like the camera didn't quite catch everything and the wind is is pulling the light I think I like it that way
There we go. Got that red glove. Get that red glove. Even her face. But see, it's not getting in the way of the actual picture. It's only coming from behind it because I'm using this one. See if I turn it off, it goes away. See how the motion, it looks more animated now with those little bit of those bit, little bit of lines. Okay, now I'm not completely happy with the way that looks. I feel like the background could be better. I feel like it could be more graduated. So what I want to do is I want to experiment a little bit. Let me put another layer under that. Let's make some of these colors darker. Maybe we could even have some some light. Yeah, let's make it darker. I think I know what I want to do. I think I want to change where she is. Go for some of these lighter. That's a little better. That look at compared to that to that. See, that's got more more depth to it. See that? Um, let me try something else too. Let me try something here. I'm going to put a layer on top of her. And I'm going to make it a, a, a multiply layer. That's that M right there. And I'm going to make it a clipping mask, so it's only her. Now she's now she became dark, you see? Now I think I'm going to do the same thing. Let's put these two together. And I'll put another layer on top of that. And I'll make that also a multiply layer. And I'll put that there. So now that's darker. But what I want to do is I want to take the eraser and I want to erase some light here. Like there's light coming in from somewhere. Now let's take the one over her and do the same thing. I'll put some light on her from there. So it's coming at her from that angle. No, I don't like that. No, I don't like that at all. Nope. Let's see what's an experiment. Hmm. But I do like... Let's see. What if the light was coming in on the other side? Let me get the multiply there over here and change that. Yeah, what if that light was coming in over here? Let's see. The light's behind her, not in front of her. And then we 
to see if we can make her look a little bit different with light coming in that way. So it would lighten up this hand. I would lighten up this side of her face. And her neck. I still don't think I like it. So let me get rid of both of those multiply layers. Let's see what else I can do. Maybe it's still the background that I'm thinking of needs to fi be fixed. That's what it needs. It just needs to have a little bit more graduation there. Some movement. two layers together and make another one so I don't mess it up. Maybe she needs to be filling up the paper more. We've completely lost the shadow, haven't we? All right, let me create another shadow for her. We'll put another layer underneath her. It won't be much of a shadow, just a little bit. There we go. What do you think? That's our picture right there. So what I do now is I sign it. Let me put another layer on here. And to sign it, I'm going to use the uh, turpentine brush. I'll put my name right down here in the bottom. Make it a little bit darker than that. Twenty twenty three is almost over. And then I shrink that so too big. And I grab the twenty twenty three, move it next to my name, and it'll shrink the whole thing. Put it down the bottom. Make sure it's not so big that it gets in the way. Now it looks good. All right. Well, there's our picture of. Um, Camilla Valieva when she was 15 and um, thank you for watching <sighs> there we go winter games the winter games
I kind of like the way the background looks now. All right. See you later.